A mother and stepdad in court today after the death of seven-year-old Ethan Bates. The arrest warrants say the little boy's body was covered in old and new bruises. And the report says a teacher reported the bruises, but Cumberland County DSS tells CBS 17 it did not receive a Child Protective Services report on the boy prior to his death. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is getting answers. And Kayla, a lot of people want to know where's the disconnect. Yeah, that's right. So the law requires that any suspected child abuse be reported to the proper agencies. In this case, it would have been to the Cumberland County Department of Social Services. So we checked with them. They are saying they have no report of any prior abuse involving Ethan Bates. Ethan's mother, Evie Bates, and his stepfather, uh, St. Michael Edwards, were both making their first court appearance this afternoon. They're facing felony child abuse charges. Now, those charges are expected to be upgraded uh, to some type of murder charge in the next few days. Police found seven-year-old Ethan dead in his Fayetteville home Thursday morning after his mother made a 911 call. The arrest report saying that he had old and new bruises. He had a cut above his eye, a swollen eye, plus possible broken bones. It also says he missed three days of school last week, and his teacher at West Area Elementary reported those bruises to the school social worker. The law, again, requires that report to be sent to a child welfare agency, but the Department of Social Services saying they never received any report on Ethan. Here's Cumberland County District Attorney Billy West. Very tough case, very disturbing allegations. Anytime a child's involved, uh, those are some of the toughest cases. If somebody thinks they see child abuse, they need to report it because um, it could potentially uh, prevent something like this from happening. You never know. The school district telling us they have no comment on this case. And in that arrest report, we also found a family member reported to Evie Bates and to the stepfather uh, some bruises that they had seen. And they were threatened with a machete, according to the arrest report. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.